Welcome to our channel where we discuss everything related to personal finance. In this video, we will be discussing how mutual fund returns are calculated. What is a mutual fund? Before we jump into the calculation of returns, let's first understand what a mutual fund is. A mutual fund is a type of investment vehicle that pools money from multiple investors to invest in various assets such as stocks, bonds, and other securities. How are mutual fund returns calculated? Mutual fund returns are calculated by taking into account the change in the fund's net asset value NAV, over a specified period of time. Net asset value is the total value of the fund's assets minus its liabilities. The NAV per share is calculated by dividing the total value of the assets by the total number of shares outstanding. Let's take an example. Suppose you invest $10,000 in a mutual fund with a NAV of $20. This means that you own 500 shares of the mutual fund. Now, let's say that the NAV of the mutual fund increases to $22 after one year. This means that the value of your investment is now $11,000, 500 shares x $22 NAV. To calculate the return on your investment, you need to subtract the initial investment amount from the final value of the investment, which is $1,000 in this case. Divide this number by the initial investment amount, $10,000, to get the return percentage, which is 10%. Factors affecting mutual fund returns There are several factors that can affect mutual fund returns, such as market conditions, the performance of the fund's underlying assets, and the fees and expenses charged by the fund. It's important to consider these factors when evaluating the performance of a mutual fund. Conclusion In conclusion, Mutual fund returns are calculated based on the change in the fund's net asset value over a specified period of time. While there are several factors that can affect mutual fund returns, understanding how they are calculated can help you make informed investment decisions. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on personal finance.